Hello guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. So yes, for people who doesn't know right now, Kingdom Hearts is going to be released on the PC in the Epic Store in the end of March. So yes, as you can see I'm in the Epic Store and I'm actually seeing here that the Kingdom Hearts Saga is going to be released for the PC by the end of March, which is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, we got Kingdom Hearts 3 plus the Remind DLC, and we got Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories. So I'll just go ahead and give you my honest opinion if you really want to play this game on the PC, or you can go ahead and skip and not purchase it. So for people who already have this play on this games on the PlayStation 4, don't even bother. Or you can go ahead and give my honest opinions about this. So I'll go ahead and give you the heads up. So as you can see, um, we're gonna talk about, you know, frames per second, graphics, and all that stuff that it will require to play this game or not. So, okay, first of all, for the PlayStation 4, like I mentioned, if you already have a PlayStation 4 Pro or a PlayStation 5, don't even bother to play, play um, to buy this on the PC. Or if you want to enjoy the experience on PC, go ahead, no worries, okay? So, this is my honest opinion. So, the only Two benefits about, like I mentioned, is because of graphics and frames per second. So on the PlayStation 4, we already have the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 playing on a frame per second of 60 frames per second. Um, of course, PC, you can have all the frames per second that you want, but obviously 60 frames per second is the um, frames that you really want to play the Kingdom Hearts games. So the first one that is 1.5 plus 2.5, I will recommend you to not buy it. Why? Because of the fact, two things. One. You can emulate those games very easily um, on the PlayStation 2, of course, but obviously the resolution is the only thing that you that you don't want to see that, so that's the only issue. But if you already have it playing on the PlayStation 4, you already have the resolution, and you already have the flames per second over here. You have the four games, you got Kingdom Hearts 1 um, Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Cha Rechain of Memories, and Burst by Sniff Final Mix. So in this case, I'm saying Final Mix because obviously you're getting 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix that the Final Mix content, it's on the first um, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and Burst by Sleep. Um, Rechain of Memories, of course, um, but the only thing that I don't like besides of, of these games being emulated or on the PC is just for the fact that it's on a full price. So in Mexico, it costs 1,049 1, pesos, which in Mexico account, in Mexico dollars, it's... Um, it's like around $39, so that's the only thing that I don't like. These games are almost in full price. Um, as well for the other ones, that it's Kingdom Hearts 2.8, Kingdom Hearts 3, and Remind, they have a full price of 1.3k uh, of pesos, which in dollars it's $49, $50, whatever you want to talk it on dollars, I don't know. But in the matter of fact, that's the only thing that I don't like, that those games are in full price, that I already have another PlayStation 4. So obviously you don't want to go ahead and buy it. So my only doubts about 2.8 is that you get only, you know, um, you know, Kingdom Hearts, um, Birth by Sleep, uh, a 0.2, a Fragmentary Passage. Because obviously Drip Drop Distance was released on the DS and obviously you're gonna have the 60 frames per second guarantee. If you have another PlayStation 4, you already have 60 frames per seconds playing on Drip Drop Distance. And of course, you got, um, well, the only thing that doesn't play good on the frames per second is just um, Kingdom Hearts 0.2, which in this case is Burst by Sleep. And the cinematics of, you know, of, of Kingdom Hearts um, Unchained X or something like that. I don't remember what was, I think it was back cover or something like that. But in the, mat in the matter of fact, I think that the only thing that you will enjoy playing on 60 frames per second is going to be 0.2. The only bad thing about this is the price and the content because the only good content that you're gonna have is going to be drip drop distance because 0.2 only provides you like five hours of a demo uh, regarding about the you know the, the final chapter so that's the only bad thing that you'll be able to play and by buying this on the full price like the the old drama situation that happened on the beginning that. You get, you get to play Kingdom Hearts um, 2.8 on the full price of $59 and they're doing it again on the PC. That's something I don't want to see on this game. So, from my honest opinion, you can emulate those on PlayStation 2 or if you have a PlayStation 2 or PSP, you already have all the content that you can play on the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. 
In the other hand, for Kingdom Hearts 2.8, I believe it's this is a big don't purchase because um, in this case, Drip Drop Distance obviously is a very good game. You already have the 60 frame per second, but the only bad content is going to have its 0.2 because 0.2 only provides you around 5 hours of gameplay and if you already have it on the PlayStation 4 and all that stuff, obviously you're going to say, hey, you know what, I don't like this, I'm just going to skip it. Now, the only good thing that I really, really want to buy on the PC is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. That is for sure that you want to play this on the PC because on the PlayStation 4, the frames per second are not so good. Like um, if you have a PlayStation 5, maybe the, the frames per second and obviously the, do the load times are going to be much faster and the frames per second are going to be smooth. So the biggest, biggest, biggest win is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. So if you want to go ahead and purchase Kingdom Hearts 3 on the PC, go for it. Graphics, frame per seconds. I don't know how much they're going to make all the renders and all that stuff. But even so, on the PlayStation 4, the frame per second were almost smooth. Like, it was playing between 30 to 60 frames per second. Almost 60 frames per second because the graphics on Kingdom Hearts 3 was very adaptable to the PlayStation 4. And when I play it on the PlayStation 4 and on Remind, I think when you when you, when you you buy, um, when you actually play the Remind on the PC with the Organization 13, you already played it on 60 frames per second. So... For my honest opinion, Kingdom Hearts 3 on Remind, it is going to be amazing. And the biggest thing about Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the mods. Yeah, when we talk about PC, we're going to have a lot of mods here. You know, mods about... Um, if you, if for people who were playing Final Fantasy 15 back then, they actually made a lot of mods like like you know knock this turn 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 to Sora well you get to you get to change or modify you know Sora to play with Aqua or to play with Riku or to play with Roxas to play like there's gonna be a lot of mods here so yes Kingdom Hearts 3 it is a biggest win I do recommend you to buy per, um, to purchase Kingdom Hearts 3 for the PC because you don't know how much uh, enjoyment and playment you're gonna have here and even so on the you know you got the trailer you got all the information though but yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3, you're gonna have it on this case. So you got to get to pre-purchase it. Of course, you'll be able to get it on March 30. So let's go ahead and get the specifications here. So specifications, you need Windows 10. That is the biggest thing that I didn't like because as you can see, I'm Windows 7 and I don't think that we're gonna be able to purchase this just because of the fact that I'm Windows 7. I am going to upgrade it later on. It's just the fact that I need, I need a new, um, you know, drive drive this so I'll be able to to per, to get um, kin, um you know Windows 10 but yeah later on I'm gonna upgrade myself to, to, to Windows 10 but it's gonna be a very pain in my butt about doing this but yeah you need Windows 10 that's the good thing then you need a um, processor an Intel Core 1.5 um, i5 333 I don't remember and like you know pretty much from my point of view you need this an AMD Ryzen and obviously four cores for thread a memory 8 gigabytes or more, storage of 75 gigabytes or more, you need DirectX version 11, and the graphics you need an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760, VRAM um, 2 gigabytes, and MED Radeon um, R7 260X VRAM of 2 gigabytes. And the recommended it's gonna be Windows 10 again. <sighs> I am gonna I am gonna upgrade myself to Windows 10 when I once that I have a new um, you know uh, drive this I really need Windows 10 um, you need a processor of Intel Core um, i15 775 I'm sorry 75 3.4 gigahertz and Ryzen and all the stuff 7 gigabytes DirectX and obviously the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 170 um, Tower 1070 of VRAM of 8 gigabytes and AD radio um, X Vega 56 VRAM of 8 gigabytes now if you want to know what do I have here um, how can I see my graphics I think it's an enforce experience right um, and if I go to my properties of this thing as you can see it says all in Spanish but obviously I got an Intel Core 170 3.4 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of RAM and pretty much I got 64 bits of, of, of the game here so obviously um, if I want to go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10 I want to have any problems because I already have 16 gigabytes of, of RAM memory and maybe on Nvidia um, Nvidia is something that I do need to go ahead and check out to be honest so let me just go ahead and open uh, my my Nvidia oh really I need to install something or oh, whatever but even so I think that my graphics is four gigabytes or five gigabytes of uh, a video RAM so yeah you wouldn't have any kind of problems with that um, I'm just gonna forget about the video for the moment but yeah pretty much in that case um, 
you do need the the you know a good comp not a good computer but you do need to have a, a certain amount of of you know a computer to you be able to get this one but yeah pretty much in that case that's all that i can let you know about kingdom Hearts 3. the only thing that i didn't like was that you need windows 10 that's the only problem here no worries i i can go ahead and update myself to windows 10 except for the fact that i don't i have like bad experience to to get to windows 10 just because of the fact that my first experience with Windows 10 was that it wasn't a laptop. I did have Windows 8.1 and there was a time that, hey, you know what? You qualified to upgrade yourself to Windows 10, so give it a try. I did it. In the first week, my laptop was dead. Yeah, my laptop was dead. So, yeah, pretty much the technician told me that my, you know, my motherboard was fried. And I was like, why? How did this happen? The only thing that I actually did was to upgrade to Windows 10. Boom my laptop died because of upgrading to windows 10 so my first experience with windows 10 it's so bad so that's why i i'm still on windows 7 because just just at the fact that i have bad experience with windows 10. obviously that happened way back then on 2015 maybe so maybe windows 10 is obviously obviously much better right now it's we're 2021 i don't think that my computer is going to die just because i'm going to upgrade him again to windows 10 right right hopefully so but yeah pretty much in that case um that is the specification now let's see about the older ones now for the older ones i think that it does require something much much lower so yeah pretty much for for um the kin the older kingdom arts uh, you just need again windows 10 and you just need a processor because the nvidia situation it's not something bad you just need two gigabytes or more because those are older games you don't need like powerful games for, to run you know the older kingdom hearts the older kingdom hearts are just old graphic ones so you don't have any kind of problems or issues to to run kingdom hearts on the older um pcs of course now let's go ahead and talk about 2.8 because 2.8 i think that just because of the fact that we got 0 0.2 yes 0 0.2 requires the same with kingdom hearts um three so yes you need to you do need you do need something much powerful even so it's uh, it's telling you that you need direct x version 12 what and the other one needs uh, you know the other one that it's actually um um requires you know 11 this one requires 12 what that's kind of weird now let's talk about Mel melody of memories i think about melody of memories you don't need a powerful computer um yeah as well you just need an uh you know a very good computer because you know the graphics for um for kingdom hearts and melody of memories is just like whatever man it's not so it, it, it you don't require something more powerful even so the storage is so so low that you don't need to get a powerful computer even so for this one requires windows 8.1 or even 10 so that's a good thing for people who do have windows 8.1 um if you have an older version of windows 8.1 then yeah you're able to play melody Mem uh, memories without any issues it's kind of a bit weird about the specification of each one of the games because 1.5 plus 2.5 requires windows 10 um 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 3 requires Windows 10, but Melody of Memories requires 8.1. That's kind of weird, no? But yeah, pretty much in that case, that's the specification. So for each one of them, just to give you a summarize for how you can play it on your computer, um, pretty much in this case, 1.5 plus 2.5, any kind of good computer or whatever, you just need a Windows 10, and it doesn't matter if you have a graphic card or not. You just need, uh, you know, whatever graphic cards that you want, and pretty much you'll be able to get and play Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 by having a Windows 10. 2.8, that's very doubtable. Like, I don't know why um, it's actually very doubtable that you need um, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and pretty much you just need as well like a graphic computer with DirectX version 12. Then you got Kingdom Hearts 3. Obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3 requires a very powerful card. Um, not a very powerful card, just like, a, like whatever card you want. And obviously, you just need to have Windows 10. And for Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memories, you do require, um, well, 8.1, Windows 8.1, and pretty much um, kind of, um, Windows 10. So pretty much either one or the other. You don't need powerful graphic cards. You don't need powerful graphic cards. You do need powerful graphic cards. And pretty much you do need, like, um, you know, the, what's it called? Um, you know, the, the, the drive disk, the, the memory RAM, and all that stuff. So I do have all the requirements. The only thing that I don't have is just Windows 7. I only have Windows 7. And just because of the fact that Windows 10, it's been a pain in my ass from the beginning that I actually got this. So that's why. So that is my honest opinion. So let me guess your opinion. Do you really want to purchase Kingdom Hearts for, um, for the PC? If you are happy for the PlayStation 4, just forget it, okay? Just forget it. 
if you already have it for the PlayStation 4 and you have a PlayStation 5, just forget about playing it on the PC. But for people who just have PCs, for people who has PCs and pretty much they don't want to buy a console, then yes, I recommend you to buy Kingdom Hearts 3 and maybe Melody Memories. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5, I know that PC players already say, hey, you know what, I emulate it, I already play it, I don't care. And for 2.8, it's very doubtable just because that you're getting drip from distance, that people can't emulate a 3DS, and, and maybe for people who are gonna um, gonna play for 2.0.2, um, but 0.2 only have like five hours of content, so that's the only bad thing. But Kingdom Hearts 3 is the best example that you can go ahead and play. So yeah, maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 is the most recommendable um, game that you can play for the PC. 2.5 plus 2. I'm sorry, 1.5 plus 2.5. 2.8 uh, are very datable if you want to play it on the PC. For Melody Memories, um, yeah, it's a very new game, but even so, it's just a rhythm game. So maybe if you have a PlayStation 4, if you have a Switch, um, then yeah, you can go ahead and not purchase it. But for people who own, who doesn't have consoles and they only have PCs, then yeah, I think that many people are gonna go for Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe 2.8 and mainly, uh, maybe Melody of Memories. So, well, that is my honest opinion. Uh, if I have Windows 10, then yes, I can go ahead and play Kingdom Hearts 3 on the PC. But I already have it on the PlayStation 4. The graphics and the frame per seconds are very amazing. I don't have any kind of problems. Maybe someday in the future when I upgrade my PC to, to Windows 10, then yeah, maybe someday I'll go ahead and purchase Kingdom Hearts 3. But in the moment, I'll just leave it like that. So, what is your opinions? Do you really want to go ahead and purchase Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 2? If you want to go ahead and play the full saga, uh, just remember the price tag. It's something that I didn't like, but even so, they are very amazing games. So, uh, that is my honest opinion. I'll give you my heads up. Yeah, go ahead and purchase it if you're a full PC player. If you don't have any consoles, then yeah, you'll enjoy the saga. So, that is my honest opinion about this. But for the people who already have PlayStation 4s, if they have PlayStation 5s, then yeah, pretty much you just need to go ahead and forget that because the PlayStation 5 does run the Kingdom Hearts games very amazing. So well, that is all. I hope you enjoyed this quick information. Remember, this those games are going to be released in March 30 of 2021. So in this case, it will be in a matter of 45 days. So yeah, pretty much that is where Kingdom Hearts, this whole saga is going to be released on Epic Store in March 30. So well, that is all. May your hearts be in guiding key and I'll see you guys until the next video. Peace, guys.